She is known for her extensive career in both radio and television, starring in the popular show December Bride. She is also recognized for her work as a contract player at Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, appearing in films for over three decades. Her name is Spring Byington. In the world of American acting, one name stands out, Spring Dell Byington, a talented actress whose impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable. Born in 1886 in Colorado Springs, Byington embarked on a remarkable journey that would lead her to become a beloved figure on both radio and television. Her career soared with a seven-year stint as the star of the popular show December Bride. As a contract player for Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, Byington graced the silver screen from the 1930s to the 1960s, leaving an indelible mark on the film industry. One of Byington's most significant achievements was her nomination for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. This recognition came for her memorable performance as Penelope Sycamore in the film You Can't Take It With You. Her portrayal of the quirky and lovable character showcased her immense talent and garnered critical acclaim. But Byington's impact extended beyond her individual accomplishments. She paved the way for future generations of actresses by breaking barriers and proving that women could thrive in the entertainment industry. Her talent, charm, and dedication to her craft inspired countless aspiring actors and actresses, leaving a lasting legacy in the world of acting. Spring Byington's journey from a small town in Colorado to becoming a renowned actress is a testament to the power of passion and perseverance. Her career milestones and achievements continue to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. Byington's influence on the film and television industry will forever be remembered, making her a true icon in the annals of Hollywood history. Spring Byington, born in Colorado Springs, Colorado, had an interesting early life. Her parents, Edwin Lee Byington and Helene Maud Byington, played significant roles in shaping her future. Edwin was an educator and superintendent of schools, while Helene was a doctor. Sadly, Spring's father passed away when she was young, and her mother made the difficult decision to separate her from her younger sister, Helene Kimball Byington. Helene sent Helene Kimball to live with their grandparents in Port Hope, Ontario, while Spring stayed with relatives in Denver. Spring's mother pursued her own dreams and moved to Boston to attend the Boston University School of Medicine. She graduated in 1896 and returned to Denver to open a medical practice with her classmate, Dr. Mary Ford. Meanwhile, Spring pursued her passion for acting. Even as a student, she performed in amateur shows, showcasing her talent and love for the stage. After graduating from North High School in 1904, she joined the Elitch Garden Stock Company as a professional actress. Tragedy struck again when their mother passed away in 1907. However, Spring and Helene found a new home with their Aunt Margaret Eddy, who legally adopted them. In a 1949 interview, Spring revealed that she briefly considered a career in newspaper reporting. However, since she was already of legal age, she decided to follow her true passion and pursue acting in New York City. She expressed her fondness for acting, saying, I can't do anything else very well. Spring Byington's early life set the stage for her successful career in the entertainment industry. The support and influence of her parents, the separation from her sister, and the tragic loss of her mother all played a part in shaping her journey. With her acting talent and determination, she embarked on a path that would make her a beloved and respected figure in the world of theater and film. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.